I'm just uh, thankful for the opportunity that I got. James uh, talked about getting the ball in the end zone and the red zone, and that's what, what, what you did. Um, kind of, you look like you're ready to do that kind of thing, a, bit, a bigger guy that can plow it in. How important was it for you guys to find Bader after all the red zone? Uh, trouble you had? Yeah, definitely. We, need, we, we weren't putting the ball in the end zone, and we still had a little trouble in the game, didn't get it in that one time, and we need, a, we need to continue to get better each and every day. There's still, still room for a lot of improvement there. How many snaps did you take at tailback? Last week, leading into the game, and during and during practice, during you took practice, some reps, oh yeah, right? I took some reps once in a while. Like if we had to redo a play or something like that, I would take a rep, and then some goal line reps I would take, just seeing if maybe you would do that in the game. So I took a couple, not a ridiculous amount though. So how much of the playbook were you comfortable with going into Saturday? I was pretty much comfortable with it all. Like I, I'm in the meetings, we're in the same meetings, fullbacks and running backs. So we listen, I listen, I know that there's always that chance that possibly it could happen. So, you never know. What's your pre, how does your pre-snap read change? Obviously from fullback to tailback, how much faster or slower does that position move? Um, yeah, it's definitely a different read out there. It's uh, sometimes slower, sometimes faster, it depends. And uh, yeah, fullback, you're pretty much, it's always, you're pretty much reading the same thing in tailback, but it's a little bit different. And uh, yeah, just, I need to continue to improve on that. I miss some big holes out there. <laughs> Mark, how happy are you with, with this new role? If you had it your way, would this be what you'd want, or would you rather go back to fullback? Uh, either way is good. I like doing both. Um, I'm not sure what I'd rather be doing. Uh, I like both, so whatever the, whatever the coaches want. How does your preparation change this week, knowing you, now that you go into this week, knowing you're going to get those touches? Um, you just, just prepare the same way I've been preparing. Just now it's at f tailback instead of fullback, I guess. So. Just get in the film room, study, get, uh, get ready to work hard. Uh, tough opponent in Central Michigan. What do you know about Central Michigan? What have you guys seen from them? Yeah, we've been watching, watch a little film on them already. They're a good team, tough team. They're gonna come out and play hard. Mark James nicknamed you the Juggernaut. What's the story behind that? I'm not even sure. You have to, you have to ask him and uh, all that. I don't know how that came about, but yeah, they started calling me that. And I just went with it. Mark, how important was it to, to get the win and, and to continue this week to, to get better? Obviously, you want to get runs along the way. This team is so focused being young on just getting better. How important is it to continue to take steps? Yeah, definitely. It was good to get the win, but yeah, we just need to continue to improve. We have so much room to improve. And uh, yeah, every day we just need to improve. Every day in practice, we need to come with the mentality to be improvement driven every day. Are you used to this? these eight cameras, ten cameras around you? <laughs> is this something nah. you can get used to? Yeah, I don't, I, it, it doesn't matter. I, I can get used to it. It doesn't either way, but uh, yeah, I'm not too, it's not too bad. <laughs> How were you able to get Iowa's attention when you were at Air Force, when you wanted to come here? What, what means did you do or take to get, to get here? I just sent them my, uh, once I got the release form from Air Force, I, I was allowed to send it to teams. I sent it to them and then uh, tried to contact them. And eventually got contacted them, talked with the coaches, and they said I could come down here. Who, who was your first contact at Iowa? Who did you talk to first? Coach Herb, he was the, he's the running back coach, and he was also who was recruiting me a little bit out of uh, high school. He recruits my area. And, and where did it go from there? Just it, it got to a point where they invited you to come and, and try? Yeah, or, that's pretty much it, try. Come, come in, do the workouts, and come to spring ball, and just see where I am then. What's it like going into that, not knowing you, there's no security in that? <laughs> yeah, it's tough. There's no security, but uh, you just have to work as hard as you can. Just control what you can control. All you can control is how hard you work. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Did, along with your did you, Juggernaut, is that the type of style um, you like to play out there on the field with, you know, powering over defenders and stuff? Yeah, that's, that's, that's my type of style, just trying to run over defenders, block defenders, that type of way, and just... Uh, <laughs> Just be, I'll be more physical than the opponent. What do you appreciate more, rushing touchdown or pancake? I don't know. They're both, they're both, uh, they're both pretty good. Maybe running over somebody, maybe that'll be a little better. When you were at Air Force, did did you go out? Were you going out for the football team like your second year or not at all? At the, I was uh, recruited. Okay. Out of there to play there, I committed there. Uh -huh. My after my junior year of high school to okay. play football there. So yeah, and I was after one semester. I didn't even finish the semester. Uh -huh. I left early. Oh. Okay. And uh, yeah, I just left. Um, and I had to get a release from the football program there. Okay. So were you on the team then that first yeah, semester? Yeah, I was on the team. I didn't play in any oh. games, but I was on the team. Yeah, okay. Practicing. And then just decided to do it. It wasn't, yeah, the wasn't for you. It wasn't for me, yeah. Okay. And then that second semester, of your spring semester of your first freshman year, that's when you could, uh, that's when you came here? Yeah, that's when I came I came here then. Then I had to sit out the year because right. of the eligibility rules. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah.
Great job of stepping in there and uh, was able to give us some good carries, some good catches out of the backfield, protected well, and uh, just played really well in kind of a tough situation that maybe he wasn't totally prepared for. What did you say about that offensive line and everything like that? Yeah, we we did a great job up front. We opened some pretty big holes. It got Mark going downhill. Got Damon going downhill early, and uh, I mean that's a lot of our success at running back is how well uh, those guys have been able to push people around up front. We got on the end zone, and you found it. Early. Was it a kind of relief or a sigh of relief to, to get in the end zone, or was it one of those things where you knew it eventually? Well, I think obviously it needed to be done, and uh, I thought we'd get there. I thought we were close in the weeks past, just weren't able to execute, and I thought we did a lot better job um, down there this last weekend. That was a lot because of the running game and how we were able to uh, control the line of scrimmage. Mark said he took some snaps with the ones last week in practice. Mm -hmm. Not to say that the coaches were thinking that they might need him, but apparently they did. Yeah, no, yeah, and uh, he's a guy who has had snaps there before, and um, they kind of experimented with it a little during camp, and then this last week he, he took some reps, and he's a guy that we all have a lot of confidence in, and when he's in there, we don't really miss a beat. Playbook really doesn't change with him back. Playbook really doesn't change. I mean, maybe a little less juking, uh, but once you get him going downhill, he, he can do some things of his own. James, what did you think of your balance on that? Oh, I thought that was huge. I thought, I thought a lot of the stuff in the passing game was open because of how well we were able to, to run the ball. They had to get eight or nine guys down around the line of scrimmage, and uh, that makes it a lot easier on your receivers out wide. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. What do you guys know about them from us again, and what do you expect from Saturday? Well, they're a good team. They play in a good conference, and uh, we got to see the film of them playing Michigan State, and they had the week off. Um, they're going to be a little different than the first three teams we played, but they have a lot of talent and they fly around. This team took a step last weekend. It's important to take and trim more of them. Um, how is it important? Is it to not just win a game, but to have a good performance? Oh, no, yeah, I, I think we, we definitely took a step, but after seeing the film, there's a lot more things we can correct to, to, to score some more points and make sure that we're not only getting the end zone. I think we only got in three out of those six times down the red zone. So um, that's still not that good. But uh, we definitely took a step forward. And know we have to continue to get better. What are some things you are still working on? Well, I think just continuing uh, my development in this offense and with the guys around me, the chemistry. Um, I thought this last week was a pretty good test. Got into some things that maybe we didn't think we were exactly going to see. and. We're able to, to keep everybody on the same page and to get to good plays. So uh, I thought as a unit we did a lot better job this week kind of adjusting on the fly, and we're going to continue to do that as the season goes on. Is everybody on the page, same page? You talked about three snap mm -hmm. reads going into week number two. Is that an adjustment they made? Yeah, and I, I think that has a lot to do with preparation. And there's a lot of guys who are just kind of understand, understanding what it takes to prepare and uh, to be able to go out there and to, to flip plays and to be confident running your routes. You kind of got to have an idea of what they're doing or why I'm checking something or uh, something of that nature. So um, I thought we showed a, we took a big step in that area this last week and we're able to, to stay on the same page for the majority of the game. Uh, did a good job on third down last week. Uh, that's always a big point of emphasis, staying on the field as long as you can. But I think that balance has uh, helped us control the game and kind of keep the ball away from the other teams. Kirk said that uh, Pollock is actually the only running back that hasn't been cleared to play. So, for mm -hmm. a change, of, you know, what's your what's the running back situation look like? Yeah, uh, I mean, in all honesty, you probably know more about it right now than I do. Uh, we'll see in practice today, but uh, obviously losing those two guys was big. But we still got Malloy's a good back who hasn't really gotten a chance yet. But uh, I've seen a lot of good things out of him. Obviously, Mark. Um, did a nice job for us, and then uh, I mean we got I mean Brad Rogers, Ken Zary can play. Uh, we got plenty of guys that can fill in there, but uh, whoever's behind that offensive line, we're confident in. I'd say more frustrating was scoring six points against Iowa State than getting down the one yard line. We put up 27 points, so you know everyone felt pretty good. Everyone was catching the ball, so I don't think that's frustrating that we're not getting there. They'll, they'll come. Talking about this offense as it's improved from week to week, James and, and James, I guess, and Vandenberg and Ferentz have both said that practices last week felt a lot better than they have in, in previous weeks. What was your take on that um, preparation last week compared to other weeks? Yeah, I definitely agree. Things were lost. There was energy in practice. Everyone was excited to be there. And, uh, um, you know, things were slow and nice. 
the two minute drill we, we, we scored. So that's always good in the week and uh, you know, it's just you're gonna, you're gonna play like you drank you know, we, you know, we did the whole week so I'm for it. Is that something now that you kind of have that experience uh, as a team? facilities and kind of when you when you were looking around after you decided to leave the, your commitment with Illinois and, and you came to Iowa what was kind of your thought on when you were looking around what was kind of the most important thing for you um I think just the tight end play um knowing that you're going to catch the ball and um, um make you know make contributions to the offense and uh you know I I kind of hurried into my decision at Illinois so mm -hmm. um yeah, just catching the ball and, and the coaching staff. How, how important do facilities play a role in uh, what athletes decide to do? Um, me personally, that's not really that big of a deal. I know a lot of recruits. It is they go to where you know uh, you know much bigger schools have like mm -hmm. you know like California, yeah. Palm Tree. People love that, and um, you know that's not really a thing that persuaded my decision. Mm -hmm. and, and I know like we're workout facilities like the bubble mm -hmm. you know a lot of people said it out outlived its usefulness oh yeah you know you know in what in what ways did it did you just feel uncomfortable in there or was it just too hot in the summer too cold in the winter i, I was uncomfortable in there you know if, if you're in there mm -hmm. um it's still blocking out mm -hmm. still blocking out everything that this place does it's just this is much nicer and um you know, i had no problem with it to be honest mm -hmm. okay no, no, no penalties, no penalties. It's just if you drop the ball, you, know, you just have to come back, and you know sometimes you run the same play again, but sometimes it's just after practice coming in and catching the ball and you know, making sure you get it down before you uh, before you leave practice field. But uh, no, no penalties or anything. We just know it's just you know, if you drop the ball, it's just unacceptable. You just don't come back, you know, smile or anything, and like it's it's nothing. You know, it's it's, it's our job. And we have to, you know, it's very important. You guys found some open spaces, especially Toronto last mm -hmm. week. What was the difference? Just uh, different defenses, different routes? Um, just, you know, taking what they give us. Um, you know, every week we're going to try to, you know, just, we're going to watch film and see what the defense does. And, you know, we, uh, we really thought that that was, a, that was a play that we could call that would really work. And it did. And, uh, you know, we executed perfectly twice. And, you know, it was, it was a great play. And uh, Toronto made the best of it. Thank you. Talk about the Chippewas. I mean, they. I know you probably haven't seen too much fun on them yet, but they, it's kind of said that their strength might be their running line, and that goes right at the, the linebackers. Yeah, I watched film on them a little bit yesterday and uh, today. They definitely like to run the ball, the power O, and they'll lead to um, have a good fullback. He, he's not afraid to hit a linebacker. Davis. So we, we definitely going to have to um, you know, zone in this week and uh, be ready to be down here. Is that, uh, is that, does that help you get used to some of the teams in the Big Ten? I mean, you know, Michigan State, for instance, you've got to play them in a couple of weeks. I mean, is this kind of a – they the coach played at Michigan State, coached at Michigan State. Is this kind of a uh, – it's Michigan State light. I said it, not you. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, no, I, I guess it is, but no. Um, they definitely don't have similar players at the Big Ten. Uh, I was watching film, and it, it almost looked like a Big Ten team. Yeah. But, um, you know, we just got to uh, focus on, you know, our keys and responsibilities of when they run and when they pass. So. Is, this, is this week, is this game about you as a team? I mean, I'm not saying that they never – there always are, but – a lot of times you want to focus on what you do well and improving more so than worrying about the opponent. Is, is, is that fair? Or is we that... always respect our opponent every week. Yeah. But a big key for us since we're young is improving. You know, um, we got to stay improving driven. Coach says it every day. But we have to improve every week. Because if we don't improve, then we're not going to win the game. You know? mm -hmm. So we're, we're just trying to improve every week. Teams have had success against you guys on the first drive of the game, and then the rest of the game you seem to have ca caught up pretty well. What what is it about the early part of the game that's? Uh, I think it's just us being nervous, uh, not settling down, uh, you know, not not knowing what to expect. But I just feel like as the game goes on, we settle down, we make adjustments, and then uh, we finally get to play an Iowa defense. Um, you know, we, we practice both ways, you know, me carrying the ball, him carrying the ball. And, you know, whatever the coaches decided, you know, we, we liked it either way, you know. Uh, just the fact that it was both being back there, you know, it was a, it was a weird idea for, for us at first, but now I'm starting to get used to it.
how's that been just uh, you talk about getting used to it just how has that transition kind of come along um it's just about you know really for me and mark you know working together you know mark really has kind of the offense uh as far as running back it's almost the same as fullback but you know it's a different dimension when you get the ball in your hands. Is that